All right, now that we've got the house all level, uh, we'll come back inside for some more projects, or the next part of the project, I guess. And what I'm gonna start doing is replacing all these walls in the back third, and then I can do the roof. I would take the roof off, but yeah, we're, we're just, the water isn't turning off up here in the Northwest yet. Some years it does by now, but some years you wait till July 4th is when it usually stops raining. So looks like one of those years. And uh, so yeah, I don't really wanna take the roof off yet. So what I'll do is I'll make the roof or the walls, push them up. And as it, you know, pushes up on these older roof joists or trusses, um, and then we'll just push the old wall out <laughs> as it comes in. So with this one, I have two 12 footers and we'll start here and go in 12 feet, which I believe is where this no man's land of rot is. So I think it'll end in here somewhere. And so we'll just set this one up and uh, nail some two by fours. I, I brought, brought about 14, I think. So yeah, that should be plenty enough to cover this gap. So we'll get to work on that. For some reason, I don't know if I didn't record making that wall, but you can see it there on the left. All right, here's a quick update on this wall here. So I just matched it up with where it's spliced off from the old one there. And this 16 on center matches up here and here and, and so forth. It's a little off, but I just need to make sure it's matched up with the new roof trusses I have up here. So then we'll just match the rest on there. And I just threw this, It's this window is super tight in there. It's not nailed, it's just sitting up there and it's really tight. So I'm not worried about it falling. Watch it fall right now. But that's where the new uh, bathroom window is gonna be. And so the wall for the bathroom, you can see the, the old uh, one by four is still up there for that was where the the wall was here for the bathtub and it was one of those you know garden tubs you see in these old mobiles so i think that's why they pushed if you can see the old you know their stock window they made the framing over just a little bit just because these the old uh garden tubs are so deep but i think my shower is probably going to end somewhere around here my new shower if that if not even in farther in so it's fine to have this window uh, just in that stock form in between the two studs that are 16 on center and then you could also see the old ones only yay big and this one I made it a lot longer just to give it more light in here and I you know I don't like I said it's all woods out there and there is neighbors and I suppose they can watch me if they really want to but i think they don't want to um although uh, there's trees so and i'll probably put like a roll down shade here just to give me that privacy um or you know if i do get this all done and look out and be like oh yeah my neighbors are right there looking at me <laughs> then maybe i'll i'll get that self-sticking uh translucent stuff to put on the windows but again i just like the window to let in more light and then this is the wall for the, the bathroom or the bedroom so we'll we'll still have a little bit more room actually to make um a towel closet here which i have to do because the vent pipe goes up through there so it'll be inside this closet yeah so now we'll lay out the next one and then we'll switch over to this side lay out these ones and then lastly, we'll do that back sh uh, shear wall. So that's where we're at. Yep, just laying out the top and bottom plates and doing the 16 on center measurements. And uh, seen this before, just laying up the wall and hopefully putting the two by fours in the right configuration and going along with the nail gun. Again, I'm so glad I bought this thing. It's uh, saved me a lot of time and a lot of hammer swings, but sometimes the nails don't go all the way through, so I do got to bring the, the that old hammer out there and make sure everything's set properly because I am no professional at using that gun. Yeah, this wall was pretty simple to set up because on the 
on the front door side there was no window other than the one that's going in the bathroom but that doesn't require any special cutouts so anyway and you want to hit that on the top plate and not the 2x4 like I just hit there and knocked it out of place but oh well we'll figure out how to get that properly fixed all right so all we did today was build this uh, wall frame threw it up there you know temporarily up just before I push out those ones and then I decided to get all the wiring out of here because these roof trusses are going to come down at some point. Obviously, I left a little bit. Um, I just left one. Is it just no, one or two break? Yeah, two breakers, I think, in the electrical panel still live. Uh, so I can still plug in tools and whatnot. And all that rat rat's nest is still up there. But yeah, we decided to just get this one all out of here because uh, there was the really heavy duty wires in here it's for the stove and the gray dark gray one was for the furnace unfortunately when i was pulling that one through a, a nail nicked the sheeting on that dark gray one so i can't well it's near the end so i can cut it off if i need to use something uh, high powered uh, that's got a shorter cable i can still use it probably going to use the dark black one for the stove again uh, just because that gauge is super thick and i'm sure that would be like 300 dollars just for that and i mean i'll look through it and make sure there's no nicks or anything but it's probably still good um we'll check the one that was for the dryer as well i'm not sure what gauge that is if it's less than 10 i will reuse it if it's 10 gauge i'll buy some 10 gauge because that's reasonable price and i will 10 gauge for the um water heater i'll read i'll buy that as well and it was wired around this way so that's a, a long distance because i do have a spool of it i think it's about 20 feet so if i go up over here i might be able to use that one i have so that would be nice but yeah you can see i only have this breaker and this breaker going i don't have it secured so it's not the safest thing in the world but we got most of it out of there. Out of y'all. And we're out here back by the bump out and where it meets the house here. And I bought a few of these. I think they're, well, they are called uh, basement jacks technically, but obviously not a basement here in a mobile home. So some people, you can call them mobile home jacks as well, I suppose. Um, but anyway, I bought four of these and then two smaller ones, probably get a couple more of these, but being that all my floor joists run this way, instead of just having the rim joists and then the rest of them running like so, which makes more sense because then you're having two by sixes help support the roof. But out here, the only thing that really supports the roof is these metal wings, which even if your floor joists are going this way, you're still going to have these metal wings. Um, you know, the, the, it's supposed to be like all one thing holding it together. You know, the floor comes out here. So especially with, uh, these are a lot stiffer than the original particle board that they use for mobile homes, but still, um, you're gonna need a little more support out here because when I did the water level off of one of the joists, um, out front, it was, I'm going off that level and this was about a half inch low. So I just jacked it up here and got it about level. And I've noticed here, it's only coming down a little bit on this one, but I think cause this bolt's probably holding it up. But over here, you can see that there's, yeah, like almost about a half inch there. So they've probably just been worn down over time. And so that's what they are. So I think uh, what I'll do is obviously I'm getting this jacked up, but I'll probably put some uh, washers in here and when I do the final uh, bolting in just so to make up the difference there from what it's now sitting at. So hopefully that'll keep it all in the up and up. Or, I mean, if I have this here, maybe I can bolt it in and it'll, it'll bring it up to, to where it needs to be. And then obviously it, it won't be supporting much. It's gonna be held up and not be pushing up. So who knows? We'll work on that at another time, but right now I just wanted to get it kind of 
level i mean this is all temporary i mean it's all janky down here so i just want to put this in while i put the new walls in and figure out the strapping for the metal beam at the top of the bump it will thresh out so threshold so we'll do this side i'll do the walls for now and then later on it may probably next weekend i'll come and uh, temporary jack up the other side to level so anyway just wanted to give you a little glimpse of what i got going on back here all right we'll see you in a second uh oh it's that time of year guys no shirt season dad bod central going on here but uh yeah it just was it was a warm day it was the only one we had in june that was actually warm so i had to break it out but uh anyway and then here uh you know a little, little something that i i had a feeling was gonna happen but i didn't think it was until it did but i forgot that the metal on the right side wasn't really connected to anything so it just came down on me but all is well nobody was hurt so we move on all right this has been an interesting day for sure i don't know how much i'm going to show you guys because it was horrible <laughs> or near disaster anyway um and then once that started i just was like all right i'm not recording so anymore <laughs> so i turned it off but anyway here's what we got so far today i did finally get this wall put up and with the correct measurements from this roof truss here 16 on center to the next beam so i messed something up in my measure calculations uh, as you do sometimes and then even here even after i did it twice um i measured for the door to be starting there but it should start there because it would have been too far over here um but anyway so it just means instead of being on 16 on center in the middle, it's kind of 16 on center on the on the left edge of it. So it's not too far off. I'll just probably double it up with another um, stud. Can't hurt it. And then this one just has one screw in it. And it was just to give it some stability here. So just unscrew it, move it over into that section there where it's supposed to be. Uh, I can nail it on top then toe nail it down here on the bottom and then I just laid out how this is gonna go I decided to go instead of one long board uh, to match up right there it would have been a 14 footer I believe um, and it would have just been really hard to get around this so I broke it up into two like a seven and a half foot section and like a six you know whatever the difference is so yeah, so we just laid it out here and there's going to be a window here. I didn't have the pieces cut for the post down here. I just happened to have this one from the old design from my last kitchen window, but I widened up the kitchen window. So I have that. Maybe I can find the other pieces for that somewhere. So then I don't have to cut more pieces for the header, but then I'll try to remember to cut these small pieces. Well, these two will be long, but this one here. Maybe I can take just use that one. We'll see. We'll hit it with a hammer and see if the top end is a little rotten. But yeah, so we got this one, which will come in right about here and there. So then we just have a small section to tuck behind the electrical panel here. So anyway, laid it up, kind of jerry-rigged some things here, got rid of some of the old rotten roof trusses. And then just kind of, these are just sitting there. If I get a wind in here, those will probably get knocked out. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit of rain tomorrow. I'll be here on Saturday. Today's Thursday, so only one day off. So as long as we're all good for tomorrow with weather, then I'll be here on Saturday and shore this up a bit because I'll get these walls put in, and at least this side. And then maybe I'll have enough to push those ones out and put those ones in pl and the new ones in place and then wait for a section of no rain so that i can redo the roof and then last lastly well actually after i get those two walls in then and s steady then i can knock this back wall out and replace it so anyway 
future day. So yeah, so here we're just working on the back right wall and I ended up breaking it up into two sections uh, just to make it easier to get behind that power panel. I think I talk about it in a breakdown of uh, maybe in the next video, but one thing I did do is I actually put the little the little piece that goes up above that header. I usually keep forgetting them, but this time I made sure to put it in right there before I lifted the wall. So that was nice. And I think I ended up just getting this one done and then left for the day. So for the last few years, I've just been working on my house and not doing anything on the weekends, but a buddy of mine just got this new Land Rover and he's been going to central and eastern Washington a lot, exploring the back roads. and. I saw a cool little sink I wanted to get, but the guy lived in Wenatchee, which is eastern Washington. And I know my buddy Dave's been going out a lot, so I messaged him to see if he was going to Wenatchee anytime soon. And he said, funny thing, go on this weekend. Why don't you come out and we'll go pick up this sink. And so we did, but we got his drone stuck in some trees first, and, but I was able to find it. And then we went into Wenatchee and picked up this cool sink. And someday you guys will get it, see it uh, installed. But for now, just check it out. Pretty cool.